Okay, this is your host Shane with Mountain Crypto. Thought I'd just pop in and give a quick little update. Um, if you listened to my last video, Mountain Crypto video about a month ago, we were talking about the possibility of going down a bit, and we did hit the all-time low this month. I think it was 57k. So that has happened, and now we are going back into accelerated area. I think we might do a little bit of a retest here coming up. Just a little bit of a retest. Nothing, nothing major to worry about on Bitcoin. I'm starting to see some of my altcoin picks are going up a little bit, and. The charts, which I don't have here to show you right now, but the altcoin charts are showing indication that um, we could be entering some altcoin pushes upward. So that's encouraging. The fear and greed is going up, which could mean we get a little bit of a pullback. So that's something to keep in mind. With the ETH ETF, this was highly doubtful that it would pass, but apparently insiders are leaking that there's a greater than 70% chance. Some people are openly saying that as well. So I don't know what angle the SCE is going to take if they do pass the ETF. A lot of people are looking at this possibility of the ETF passing possibly today would take a while before it would be initiated where ETFs would actually sell for ETH, ETH Ethereum ETFs but if that were to happen that is absolutely no guarantee that the other altcoins are going to get an ETF a lot of people are hopeful that Solana Avalanche and other coins might get an ETF as well, would be coins that would follow. And just trying to think this out, let me know what you think. Being that all of the ETFs, BlackRocks, all redid their paperwork and they are not going to include staked Ethereum, they're not going to hold staked Ethereum, they're going to just hold Ethereum to be a true commodity, I guess, or to at least give the guys of a true commodity. I'm assuming that the SCE, and this is just a guess, is going, if they pass this Ethereum as an ETF, they're going to say that it is a platform. So therefore it is a commodity, and I think they will still say no to most other cryptocurrencies. They're not very favorable on stable coins because those are those constitute a currency really in, in reality, and I think that they would they would press that issue and say, no, we're not going to do that. The United States Constitution does state that only the federal government can issue money or currency. The only thing the states can do is use silver or gold as a money to make payment, but they cannot issue their own currency, coinage, or money. So... My belief is if the ETH ETF passes, that will be Ethereum that is held very strictly as a commodity because it is a network that other coins reside on. That is not going to be an automatic green light for all the other coins to go up. However, many people are speculating that all crypto coins will make a jump if a ETF is announced. 
so they have to say something today. I don't know if they'll postpone it. I think if there's a way they can postpone it, they will. We'll just have to see what happens. But don't count on that being a gateway to all the other coins becoming ETFs. I just don't see that happening. If they do allow ETH to be an ETF, it will be on certain criteria. And I suppose the other coins, if they're going to get approved as ETFs, they would have to um, follow suit with that same requirements that ETH has. And that takes out a lot of your project coins, in my opinion. So. Anyway, that's it. I hope you have a great day. I will try to get a more professional, technical video out to you. I just wanted to talk to you about that ETF. I do expect, if it passes, to see a boom, at least for a short time, and uh, a spike up, like is what I should say. And then I think it will uh, correct very quickly after that. So. We'll just have to see, not investing advice, of course. And next time I talk to you, I'm hoping to have some very exciting news to share with you. And that's it. I'm out of here. Take care.